there's a very specific reason why Shulk is by himself right now. Oh yes, yes indeed. Eh? Which we'll find out when we get into the cutscene. Now we could run all the way there. We could, yes, we could. Or we could just warp there, thanks to the uh, travel point I got earlier. I mean, even if you didn't get that specific travel point, you could at least warp to the Agni Tablet and just go down from there. There we go, get that upgraded. What about my Minardo Arts? Nope. Huh. Save up a little bit, I guess. Yeah, I think most of the Monado Arts are at a point where they really don't need to be improved that much anymore. And now, I make a sweet mockery out of this game's pacing. I mean, this is what you do in the speedrun of this game. Fair enough. You, could you run, it's quicker to run down here the first time you get to the Agni Tablet to get the quick travel, warp back up to the Agni Tablet, and then continue. Who are you? I'm you. Hello there. But more fashionable. I'm spoilers. Uh, they okay. changed Alvis's necklace from a key into the thing you see now for How Definitive unusual. Edition. It's uh, it very, very a very important to connection to something else. It, to be honest, doesn't really get explained uh, in this game. <laughs> You'll understand more once the game concludes, but I ain't saying shit now. Just enjoy Shulk's tribal tattoos. Then which somehow come with myself. the armor. It's a bonus. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender Obviously of avoiding Nine, spoilers. What do you think of this character? Alvis is... Interesting. He doesn't really strike me as a good or evil character. I know well, I mean... Somewhere. That's kind of the point, but <laughs> again, avoiding spoilers. Uh, I like him. He's got a pretty cool huh? design. The pretty cool character. Particular ether he definitely moves the plot state. forward. It must he literally been. is the plot. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> he can be aid or retentive, which rubs some characters the wrong way, and that's good. Conflict is good for the story. Here's Telephia. They don't really have a personality, per se. Alright, so, um, I I'm gonna- I'm gonna show off my Weeboo card real quick. Uh, I- I wrote a fanfiction for Naruto, where I had Naruto get the Monado. Actually, cut that out, that's spoilers. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put half of it there, okay. and then the rest can just be in obscurity. Okay. <laughs> As long as people know you wrote a Naruto fanfic <laughs> that crossed over with Xenoblade. Yes, uh, a lot of the reasons that it works are kind of spoilers, but I did do that. I also wrote a fanfiction where Naruto appear appeared in Final Fantasy XII. I, ha I, I like Naruto. I'm sorry to think you may have an anime obsession, right? I haven't written any fanfiction in... They can read your mind. Six, seven Will years. <laughs> so. If they know your name, so yeah, Telephia, they think done. the Monado ain't shit. And they can read your thoughts, your you know movements, your you motives. How could you possibly and Shulk is like, Nani, Massacre, and stop indeed in Bacchana. And you Alvis is like, Nah, son, it's my turn! No, Alvis, stop! You don't know how to. Don't I? Huh? A new symbol? Alva's pretty badass. Alva's is so fucking cool. That was uh, pretty expressive for such a stoic person. Yeah, really. That was amazing. I suggest you stop staring. God, how I wish Shulk missed the throw when he just clocked him in the head. <laughs> that was what I was thinking. <laughs> what was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. Huh. This new friend of mine certainly knows a lot about this mythological weapon. Anyway, time to ignore that for a while until it's convenient I and fight some Telephia. <laughs> control it. By the light of the Monado. Come forth, minty freshness. I will stop them. 
Can this game just stop winning in the cutscene department for one fucking second? <laughs> Getting sick of the quality here. Ah, purge. Nice. Gets rid of auras and whatnot. Very useful for when Spike comes into effect, which is roughly about now. Very shortly after this, yeah, I think once you resume with the party is when it shows up, because you have a way to deal with it now. Here we go. Get out of here with your fucking bitch aura. The really fun thing is when you run into enemies that resist aura seal and they have spike. Yeah. That's not really pleasant, but <laughs> it, it's mostly the uh, the super bosses, I think. There's a few uh, aside from that, just high level uniques and stuff like that. Feel my power. I think you need to target one of the others so you can build up the gauge. Get out of here, you! Which one could I hit? This one? The two that aren't glowing. There we go. Oh boy. Oh. I why why did that deserve a vision? I don't know. This one's down. Alright. Boy, having a healer would be great right about now. It sure would. Well, that's why we keep the gauge topped up and we have light heal on standby, which I really should have upgraded. I mean, you can only upgrade them so far right now. Oh, It's nice to have someone who believes in me. You gonna give me the tail again? Nope, it's a shockwave. Oh. <laughs> I think that one was a vision because it's gonna change his tension level. Because that can trigger a vision sometimes. Didn't really matter because the enemy died, but like... You wanna... Well, <sighs> since you asked. Nice. Why even bother with a chain attack if the first attack doesn't? I'm extra, what can I say? Thank you. Hey. That fight could actually be a bit tricky if you're not leveled like I am, and you also don't know how to effectively make use of purge and, you know, encouraging your teammates, etc. Yeah, because you've got to remember that you need to build up the Monado gauge to be able to use purge. And, you know, stream edge and so on, very good for them. I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest. Well, I said you a fucking text. A girl. A girl. Oh, I know a girl. I know several. The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence. Not unlike a gun. Of both the material. <laughs> And the immaterial. I thought you were going somewhere with that. <laughs> I, I thought I was, but then the How only thing that dropped so into my mind was gun. <laughs> Who are you? I was going for a huge political slam dunk, and then it was just gun, gun, gun. Shulk! Shulk! Oh, it's like looking I, in a mirror. That's Ryan. I'm over here! He's over there! Shulk! We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Also, Sorry, why haven't I been given a new outfit? Because you're not being on the team yet. anymore, Ryan. If it hadn't been also, your Alvis, outfit's pretty fine as is. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? What? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm telling you, he was right here. 
ban. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Yeah, a pig's fly. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. You might be thinking this Come is a bit on. contrived because, you know, there's so many fantastical things happening. But at the same time, Shulk's vision is usually come true and there's no evidence of anyone okay, else being okay. here. I believe you. I, I I find it weird that Ryan is so skeptical. I think it's a bit weird after everything they've been through. Good quality ones too. Well, again, he has proof that visions happen. Yeah, there's no one here, so. <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm not lying. Ah, that was so petulant, but real. Alvis. Who are you? What are you? He doesn't really have enough time to explain that, Shulk. West are you? <laughs> oh, that was a tough swim, but I managed it. Just look to the east. Alright, we had a mission out there. We weren't just fucking around with Telefu. An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Ryan is really left so out in the circle of people who can use the Monado. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Uh, took a course, maybe? Okay, I think Shulk said earlier anyone could wield it. They just kind of can't control it. I guess that's what he means, though. Oh, it's Rain and Aoife, hallelujah. What if Charlotte missed? <laughs> oh, I accidentally gave a full heal to the level 98 flying around. Wow. It was due to die in a matter of days due to infections it's picked up, but oh well. It was three days from retirement. Yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. Spoilers. Everything was not fine. Get your hands off me! Oh! Ah! Hey, watch it! <laughs> Did you see Tom Bad stifling a laugh me. back there? I, no, I, I did didn't. Not mean to. Uh, sorry if no, I see it you. now. <laughs> Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. This introduction is probably a big part of the Excuse reason why me. a lot of people don't like this character that much. My She's a grower. Definitely, his Belia, but um, had the of in she's the a vital part hearts. of the group all the same. Hard to get to grips with, devastating in the right hands. Absolutely. And uh, I will say, I enjoy her as a character a lot more after Future Connected, and that's all I'll say there. Okay. I kind of know what happens in Future Connected, but I haven't sat down and watched a full playthrough. Yeah. It'll be fun to go through that with you. Mm-hmm. What, is there no one with you? I know it's not as polished as the main game, but I'm not really interested not in that sort of you. bollocks. And I yeah, not you, you want to play for the mechanics, you play the main game. You, you play Future Connected for the story. But if I were to be so bold, and some of the I'm new characters. You didn't come yeah. Here alone, and you it's Kino. And Nene. <laughs> Over there. And what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is this is the meme playthrough, guys. <laughs> it sure is. But yeah, many are contrasted nicely against like Ryan's kind of cockney, rough upbringing. She's very subdued. Charlotte's kind of the middle ground between Ryan and Melia, and it takes her a while to come around as well, but then she's like, totes on Melia's side. Absolutely. And Dunbar's just a nice kind of older brother character to her, really. Probably sees a lot of Fiora in her, honestly. Yeah. Would be kind enough to the thing that the forest, endears Dunban to a lot of people is, like we said before, you, he, he's already gone through his character arc. He's Thank already gone through his story. I'm Shulk. It's Shulk's story me. now, so Dunban's just kind of the Shulk. advisor. Ah, yes. And Melly is going through her, her story now, she's a bit and she grows, but she grows at a pretty slow a pace. Too, right? I think that's why people why have trouble, alone? you know, getting to grips with her as a character. There's always going to be divisive characters in any story. Yeah. So you even complained about the posh accent back there. Oof. <laughs> Class warfare on Bionis. Walk animation dodge. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? 
That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Aerith Sea from their village. Ballin. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon. That implies that the Nopon weren't well. always living in Magna Forest. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. Where would they have been before? Trail, we will be safe. Uh. Just all over, I guess, and then they decided to come together in one spot. Yeah, in a place that uh, best suits them. Ooh, it swapped right into the party for reasons. Yeah, it'll do that. I hate when it do that. He hates when it do that. Uh, how's that for a party, do you think? Uh, yeah, that's good. As long as you don't need to use Monado art. Yeah, I'll tank it, I guess. Let's have a look at Melia's arts. Oh boy. Uh, not much yet, but uh, she'll get a few pretty quickly with level ups. So do you want to explain what type of character Melia is? Melia is a kind of a mix between a summoner and a damage over time specialist. She can summon the elementals, as you can see in her arts there, and each one will provide a buff of some kind or a debuff, depending on which one it is. And she can summon up to three at a time. And her talent art expends the summon that she has active to, you know, either heal herself, deal some damage, uh, and uh, apply debuffs and things like that. And here's your explanation of spike damage. Oh, I do not like spike. I think I mentioned before, I've seen a lot of people saying that spike damage should have been removed from this game, and I very much disagree with that. I think it's fine as is. Ooh, see that damage? You do one of these, you load it in, and then kapow! It's nice. She gets really, really strong when you combine her talent art, which can be used multiple times, because you're just expending the summons, with the chain bonuses in chain attacks. Because the talent art will count as any color, which means it will always continue whatever chain you had going. And the damage over time effect that any thing does, bleed, poison, whatever, is based on the initial damage. So when you get the times 5 multiplier going, which I think is actually a times 8 damage, Ooh, or something like that, it's just 5 arts in a row, so it's like times 8 damage. You could actually apply two dots to one of the super bosses, sheathe your weapon, and it'll die in 10 seconds. So I was playing character there, right? Like loading up an element and then casting it via the, uh, the middle thing? Yeah, um... Sometimes you want to just keep the buffs up. Like, right now, this is really all you can do, because you're missing a lot of her arts. What I would recommend later is probably uh, summon Thunder, and then probably summon Copy, and then summon Flare. Because that way you would expend the Flare while you have the Aether up buff from the summon Thunder. Or summon Lightning, or whatever it's called. Because the buffs can be really nice. Man, this guy is not having a good time. <laughs> ah, and this one has a topple spike aura. So that when he's toppled, he actually deals spike damage. You'll run into that sometimes, too. Our old friend, the Territorial Rotbart from back in Gower Plain, has one of those. Bloody hell. Well, I'm not going to be using Malia for a huge amount of time, because, believe it or not, we're actually going to get another character not too soon after this. Not too long after this, you mean, but yeah. Yeah, I say words, spark erects them. <laughs> That's part of what I'm here for. Here for knowledge, mostly. Indeed, knowledge. Get his ass! Her talent art does get a little bit different as you keep using them. As you notice, it keeps the gauge at the bottom filled up in between battles. When it actually fills up entirely, she enters her elemental burst mode, which will vastly increase all of her damage. Uh, and I think it also increases the range of her summon buffs. Uh, and it also unlocks that art all the way on the left, which I think is burst end. Uh -huh. uh, which is a very powerful attack, uh, which applies some debuff that I can't remember. I don't use Melia directly a whole lot, as you might be able to tell. As I've said before, I, I tend to just stick with Shulk, but... Melia can dish out some major damage, man. 
Let's go. Like, I don't fully understand how Melia works either. I just select these, and then when the middle thing is done, we go into it. She has the best, like, attack names as well. Yeah. Melia actually has a lot of really good uh, combat dialogue. And it's sad because a lot of people don't use her and they actually miss out on it sometimes. Get fucked. Ah, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> and now, as you see, Belly is in the elemental burst. So you can actually use that art all the way on the left. Nice. Oh, what? I wanted to be gangster. New weapon already for me? A new weapon? Yes. Pretty good. Wow, very nice, actually. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Haste would be good. Nah, her auto attacks aren't really worth anything. Okay, haste would not be good. Uh, topple up, maybe? No, because she doesn't... Well, she doesn't have any topple arts yet. Okay, topple would not be good. HP up, yes. She has the lowest uh, base HP of everyone in the party. So that's a good one. She also can't equip any medium armor, so she's stuck with just light armor. I'll keep her as this for now. But yeah, if you want to be a super powerful mage, Malia is the character for you. The next character we're going to get is kind of a mix between a lot of things. He, he's kind of the jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none uh -huh. kind of character, which works pretty well for him, actually. Nice. Oh, bloody hell. Pop it off! Alright, it reduced, reduces defense. That's really good. That's what it does. That's why it's such a good art. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think from what I've heard from uh, YouTubers like Enel, who I've mentioned before, all enemies have a defense stat of zero by default, and it increases or de decreases depending on buffs or debuffs. So everyone starts at zero. Your party members are the only ones that actually have defense. It's okay. We tag those. I would say let it go through and you can get uh, affinity out of it. Oh well, battle ended. <laughs> I just missed out on that sweet affinity. I want to. It's because the corpse of the fish was in the way. How? Wow, I got a rain staff again. Kind of sad that I never played as Malia before, because she's kind of fun, really. Yeah, she's... I mean, you could kind of just summon, use summon, summon, use summon, and just go with that, to be honest. Nah. Nah, mate, I'm good. Looks a bit silly. <laughs> Looks a bit ugly, is what it is. Yes, we know what days is, thank you. It's a bad Kingdom Hearts game. Yep. It's not bad. <laughs> it's just tedious. It's one of the worst, I would say, but... Okay, I'll give you that one. I've seen a couple people saying that they will... They, they can get through days, but playing Recoded is just a chore for them. And I'm like, are you sure you're playing the same games? Because that doesn't sound right. Playing Recoded is fine. The story in Recoded is just an absolute throwaway, you know? It, it doesn't matter that it's even there. Literally could have been just a footnote at the start of KH3 or Dream Dog Distance or whatever. That's all it really needed to be. The gameplay, some of the absolute best in the Kingdom Hearts series, the absolute best implementation of the command deck system. And I don't understand how people will say they like days better than <laughs> Recoded. I don't get it. Well, Recoded is like Birth by Sleep on crack, that's what's good about it. Yeah. It has everything 
about the command deck that made Birth by Sleep fun turned up to 11. And a lot better commands, I think, as well. And that's our Kingdom Hearts discussion for the day. <laughs> but this isn't the Kingdom Hearts playthrough, it's the Xenoblade playthrough. Well, we've talked about Xenoblade for over an hour already. Wow, has it been an hour already? Yeah, according to my clock. Well, I guess it's just because it's a very easy game to sit and talk about, really. You spent about ten minutes fighting the Telethia down on the beach. Yeah, that's true. Oh, this poor bird. Yeah, well, the poor Dunban right now. That is a big ether crystal up there, by the way. Whereabouts? You were literally looking at it before you turned the camera. Well, I'm blind and an idiot. What do you expect? <laughs> Blind and an idiot. <laughs> okay, Tom. Oh, it just looks like a gate of some sort. Well, that might be because it's a gate. Of the Twister Tree Gate. I was about to correct myself and call it an arch, but then the game's like, oh, it's, a, it's a gate. Uh, no, actually, the Nopon Arch is the uh, waypoint you started at after you obtained Melia. Yeah. So one's an arch and one's a gate. If you want to go to Frontier Village, it's safe to go this way. Don't... don't take the lower path. You'd probably be okay if you don't fight anything, but don't take the lower path. Okay. These things are fine. You know, you, you could fight these things as they are now. It's the enemies up ahead that you'll be terrified of. Yes, no. Oh yeah. What could Spark possibly be meaning about that? I've only seen, like, little dainty things so far. What's all this, then? Fuck me! Oh, God. Again, won't aggro on sight, but if you're fighting something near it, it will come join the fight. <laughs> so, yeah. Once you're actually at level, they're pretty much just normal enemies. There's nothing really special about them. So this big tree is where the Nopon live. Ah, Bird Lady! Welcome back, Bird Lady! Your I mouth isn't moving. The village chief. Do they don't need to, Spa. Will you permit us to enter? <laughs> I guess. My pleasure! My pleasure! Thank you. I, I much prefer the how the Nopon talk me. in this game compared to Xenoblade 2. Uh huh. And they. They t kept the Xenoblade 2 kind of talking style in Future uh, Future Connected, and I don't really like it there either. The main difference, I guess, is just the meh 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 thing that, that all the Nopon do, and I don't like it that much. Fair enough. It's kind of cool to have another major area so soon after getting into another one. Well, this one's more of a... it's more of a city to get to, which is... Really, the first one we've seen since Colony 9. I guess the Bacon don't venture this far inland. They don't really have a reason to. Home, home! Home here! Home here! Home who? Home who? Home, home everywhere! Me won't touch home, home! Hey, careful there. Nibble, home, home! Home, home taste! Pew. Home, home scary! Ooh. I love these adorable little balls. <laughs> Nopon of Frontier Village. Melia Antigua has returned. I request an audience with your chief. Chief, will you hear my request? Melia here. Bird Lady here. <laughs> Melia back. Bird Lady back. Bird Lady? What the fuck does that mean? You'll see soon enough, and if you haven't already figured it out, watch any sort of media, I guess. My dear Melia. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of hair. That's a lot so of beard. And like, you look so well. I I I lost for words to describe this man, what honestly. Chief Dimadome, owner of the Dimsdale Dimitri. Shut up, you. But this is not my reason for coming. These Homs need your help. Will you be so kind as to listen to their request? 
what could a hum hum need of me? Well, you see, Ryan wants to style his hair like you. No, I don't. I see no reason to deny him. <laughs> I'm picturing it. <laughs> what of you? I have unfinished business in this region. Once these hums are safely on their way, I shall be on mine as well. Ballin. Gonna be ashamed to lose such a powerful Something's party member, but hey. We found our half yeah. dead and all alone. Everyone can always stick around. We've had a few guests already. Soon. Maybe we can help. I'll go and talk to her. In a platonic way, of course. 